Good day, dear listeners, with you sports news today. Russian figure skaters were suspected of doping. Will they take the gold? What's happening? Four Russian skaters did not come to training. Gubineev hints at drugs, information is being updated. The Russian figure skating team won the team tournament at the 2022 Olympics. But the award ceremony, scheduled for Tuesday, never took place. According to the Western media, the point is doping. One of the Russian figure skaters passed a dubious test before the Olympics. The award was supposed to take place on Tuesday. The delay in awarding the Russian national team and other winners of the Beijing 2022 figure skating team tournament is not without reason. Russian figure skaters were supposed to be awarded medals on Tuesday, February 8, but the ceremony was cancelled. The influential resource inside the games reports that the problem is related to doping. One of the Russian figure skaters passed a dubious doping test before the start of the Olympic Games. The IOC and the Russian Olympic Committee are consulting. The Figure Skating Federation declined to comment on the situation. Press attaché of the Federation Olga Yermolina told Shea. No comment, composition of the Russian team in the team tournament. In the team tournament, the Russian team played as follows, Mark Kondratyuk, Kamila Valieva. Victoria Sinisina and Nikita Katsalapov, as well as Anastasia Mishina and Alexander Galiamov. There were no substitutions during the tournament. On the eve of the Olympic Games, all these skaters won the European Championship in their disciplines. The IOC and WADA are not yet officially talking about doping. Yesterday a situation arose that requires legal consultations with the IOC, the International Skating Union commented on the delay in awarding. The wording, legal problems, was confirmed by IOC representative Mark Adams. But none of the officials reported doping. Recall that the Russian team performs at the Beijing Olympics under the flag of the ROC and is called the ROC team. This is part of the sanctions that were imposed on Russia after the Sochi 2014 doping scandal and the story of the possible substitution of doping samples and the database at the Moscow Anti-Doping Laboratory. The Beijing 2022 Olympics were supposed to be the last where Russia competes without a flag and an anthem. At the Paris 2024 Games, the Russian team should have already been restored in their rights. Four Russian figure skaters did not go to practice in the morning. Today, February 9, in the morning, the training of Russian figure skaters took place. Several participants in the team tournament did not come out. According to Western observers, four Russian figure skaters who took part in the team tournament did not appear on the ice in the morning. These are Kamila Valieva, Mark Kondratyuk, Anastasia Mishina and Alexander Galiamov. Russian journalists say they have a day off. If Russia is disqualified, the gold of the team tournament will go to the United States. If the Russian team is disqualified, then the gold will go to the US team, silver to Japan, bronze to Canada. Gubineev alludes to drugs. Well-known sports commentator Dmitry Gubineev reacted in his Telegram channel to the news about the possible problems of Russian figure skaters with doping and he made it clear that a positive test could be drug-related. If one of our skaters passed a dubious drug test before the team tournament of the Olympics, this is complete. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. This has never happened before and here it is again. Waiting for info. Gubineev wrote. Tarasova's reaction. I don't believe in doping. We sent comments from our heavyweights and experts. Everyone unanimously says that doping is not used in figure skating. I don't believe that one of ours can be doped. Let's hope that everything will be fine. Quote comma. Quotes Tatiana Tarasova, championship. I, as a skater, will tell you that I have no idea what kind of doping can help a skater perform well. Because this is a sport where there is not such a physical load as in a marathon. Here, technical training is more likely to be needed. Alexander Enbe, silver medalist of Pyeongchang 2018. Supports her. Lawyer. They couldn't take away the medal right away but there are many options. Sports lawyer Artem Patsev explained why the IOC is holding a pause and not talking about disqualification. The thing is that according to insiders, a positive sample was taken before the Olympics. Automatic annulment of a team result is only implied if a positive sample is taken during the period of the competition. If we are talking about a trial before the Olympics, as in our case, then automatic cancellation no longer falls under this case. And then there are so many options for the development of events that it makes no sense to talk about them. The championship quotes the lawyer. In the Tutberidze group, everyone called it nonsense. These are children. They are pure and beautiful. Choreographer from the group of Ateri Tutberidze Alexei Zhelezniakov also commented on the situation. He left an emotional post on his Facebook page. In it, 
He called everything that was happening nonsense and provocation. How can this be? The guys passed all the tests before the games, most likely both upon arrival and after the skates. They were sitting in the hotel all the time and only now they discovered something with someone, just when the gold happened in the team tournament. These are young athletes, one might say children. They are pure and beautiful. Yes. And no doping will help to skate a clean program, any person who is not very versed in figure skating understands this. And even more so an athlete who bears such a responsibility. Nonsense. Nonsense. Provocation, wrote Zhelezniakov.